The Kerr metric or Kerr geometry describes the geometry of empty spacetime around a rotating uncharged axially symmetric black hole with a quasi-spherical event horizon. The Kerr metric is an exact solution of the Einstein field equations of general relativity. These equations are highly nonlinear, which makes exact solutions very difficult to find. Topic overview. The Kerr metric is a generalization of the Schwarzschild metric, discovered by Carl Schwarzschild in 1915, which described the geometry of spacetime around an uncharged, spherically symmetric, and non-rotating body. The corresponding solution for a charged, spherical, non-rotating body, the Reissner-Nordström metric, was discovered soon afterwards 1916-1918. However, the exact solution for an uncharged, rotating black hole, the Kerr metric, remained unsolved until 1963, when it was discovered by Roy Kerr. The natural extension to a charged, rotating black hole, the Kerr-Newman metric, was discovered shortly thereafter in 1965. These four related solutions may be summarized by the following table, where Q represents the body's electric charge and J represents its spin angular momentum. According to the Kerr metric, such rotating black holes should exhibit frame dragging also known as lens thuring precession, a distinctive prediction of general relativity. Measurement of this frame dragging effect was a major goal of the gravity probe B experiment. Roughly speaking, this effect predicts that objects coming close to a rotating mass will be entrained to participate in its rotation, not because of any applied force or torque that can be felt, but rather because of the swirling curvature of spacetime itself associated with rotating bodies. At close enough distances, all objects, even light, must rotate with the black hole. The region where this holds is called the ergosphere. Rotating black holes have surfaces where the metric appears to have a singularity, the size and shape of these surfaces depends on the black hole's mass and angular momentum. The outer surface encloses the ergosphere and has a shape similar to a flattened sphere. The inner surface marks the «radius of no return», also called the «event horizon». Objects passing through this radius can never again communicate with the world outside that radius. However, neither surface is a true singularity, since their apparent singularity can be eliminated in a different coordinate system. Objects between these two horizons must co-rotate with the rotating body. As noted above, this feature can be used to extract energy from a rotating black hole, up to its invariant mass energy, mc 2 The LIGO experiment which detected gravitational waves also provided the first direct observation of a pair of Kerr black holes. Topic. Mathematical form Topic. In boyer lindquist coordinates The Kerr metric describes the geometry of spacetime in the vicinity of a mass m rotating with angular momentum j. The line element in boyer lindquist coordinates is where the coordinates r theta phi display style r theta phi our standard spherical coordinate system, which are equivalent to the Cartesian coordinates, and Rs is the Schwarzschild radius, and where the length scales a, sigma and delta have been introduced for brevity. A key feature to note in the above metric is the cross product d t d phi. Display style begin aligned d t d phi end aligned term. There is coupling between time and motion in the plane of rotation that disappears when the black hole's angular momentum goes to zero. In the non-relativistic limit where m or, equivalently, rs goes to zero, the Kerr metric becomes the orthogonal metric for the oblate spheroidal coordinates. The total mass equivalent m the gravitating mass of the body including its rotational energy and its irreducible mass mirr are related by m i R R equals M four minus a two M two plus M two two M equals two M I R R four four M I 
R R two minus a two display style m underscore erm i r r equals s q r t f r a c s q r t m caret four a caret two m caret two plus m caret two 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 m equals two s q r t f r a c m underscore erm i r r caret four four m underscore erm i r r caret two a caret two if the complete rotational energy error at equals c squared of a black hole is extracted, for example with the Penrose process, the remaining mass cannot shrink below the irreducible mass. Therefore, if a black hole rotates with the spin A equals m, its total mass equivalent m is higher by a factor of square root 2 in comparison with a corresponding Schwarzschild black hole where m is equal to mirr. The reason for this is that in order to get a static body to spin, energy needs to be applied to the system. Because of the mass-energy equivalence this energy also has a mass equivalent, which adds to the total mass-energy of the system, m In Kerr-Schild coordinates The Kerr metric can be expressed in Kerr-Schild form, using a particular set of Cartesian coordinates as follows. These solutions were proposed by Kerr and Schild in 1965. Notice that k is a unit vector. Here m is the constant mass of the spinning object, eta is the Minkowski tensor, and a is a constant rotational parameter of the spinning object. It is understood that the vector a a is directed along the positive z-axis. The quantity r is not the radius, but rather is implicitly defined like this. Notice that the quantity r becomes the usual radius r r r equals x 2 plus y 2 plus z 2 display style r to r equals sqrt x caret 2 plus y caret 2 plus z caret 2 when the rotational parameter a approaches 0 in this form of solution, units are selected so that the speed of light is unity c equals 1. At large distances from the source r greater than greater than a, these equations reduce to the Eddington-Finkelstein form of the Schwarzschild metric. In the Kerr-Schild form of the Kerr metric, the determinant of the metric tensor is everywhere equal to negative 1, even near the source. Topic. Wave operator. Since even a direct check on the Kerr metric involves cumbersome calculations, the contravariant components g i k g of the metric tensor in Boyer-Lindquist coordinates are shown below in the expression for the square of the four gradient operator. Topic: Frame dragging. We may rewrite the Kerr metric 1 in the following form. This metric is equivalent to a co-rotating reference frame that is rotating with angular speed omega that depends on both the radius r and the collatitude theta, where omega is called the killing horizon. Thus, an inertial reference frame is entrained by the rotating central mass to participate in the latter's rotation, this is called frame dragging, and has been tested experimentally. Qualitatively, frame dragging can be viewed as the gravitational analog of electromagnetic induction. An ice skater in orbit over the equator and rotationally at rest with respect to the stars, extends her arms. The arm extended toward the black hole will be torqued spinward. The arm extended away from the black hole will be torqued anti-spinward. She will therefore be rotationally sped up, in a counter-rotating sense to the black hole. This is the opposite of what happens in everyday experience. If she is already rotating at a certain speed when she extends her arms, inertial effects and frame dragging effects will balance and her spin will not change. Due to the principle of equivalence gravitational effects are locally indistinguishable from inertial effects, so this rotation rate, at which when she extends her arms nothing happens, is her local reference for non-rotation. This frame is rotating with respect to the fixed stars and counter-rotating with respect to the black hole. A useful metaphor is a planetary gear system with the black hole being the sun gear, the ice skater being a planetary gear and the outside universe being the ring gear. This can be also be interpreted through Mach's principle. 
Topic: Important surfaces. The Kerr metric has two physical relevant surfaces on which it appears to be singular. The inner surface corresponds to an event horizon similar to that observed in the Schwarzschild metric, this occurs where the purely radial component Gur of the metric goes to infinity. Solving the quadratic equation 1, Gur equals 0 yields the solution R H plus or minus equals R S plus or minus R S 2 minus 4 a 2 2 display style r underscore erm h caret pm equals frac r underscore spm sqrt r underscore s caret 2 4 a caret 2 2 which is in natural units of g equals m equals c equals 1 r h plus or minus equals 1 plus or minus 1 minus a 2 display style r underscore erm h caret pm equals 1 pm sqrt 1a caret 2 another singularity occurs where the purely temporal component gtt of the metric changes sign from positive to negative again solving a quadratic equation gtt equals 0 yields the solution r e plus or minus equals r s plus or minus r s 2 minus 4 a 2 cos 2 theta 2 Display style R underscore erm E carrot PM equals FRAC R underscore S PM SQRT R underscore S carrot two four A carrot two cos carrot two theta two or in natural units R E plus or minus equals one plus or minus one minus a two cos Two theta display style r underscore erm e caret pm equals one pm sqrt one a caret two cos caret two theta. Due to the cos two theta term in the square root, this outer surface resembles a flattened sphere that touches the inner surface at the poles of the rotation axis, where the collatitude theta equals zero or pi. The space between these two surfaces is called the ergosphere. Within this volume, the purely temporal component GTT is negative, i.e. acts like a purely spatial metric component. Consequently, particles within this ergosphere must co-rotate with the inner mass, if they are to retain their time-like character. A moving particle experiences a positive proper time along its world line, its path through spacetime. However, this is impossible within the ergosphere, where GTT is negative, unless the particle is co-rotating with the interior mass m with an angular speed at least of omega. thus, no particle can rotate opposite to the central mass within the ergosphere. As with the event horizon in the Schwarzschild metric the apparent singularities at R h and R e are an illusion created by the choice of coordinates i.e., they are coordinate singularities. In fact, the space-time can be smoothly continued through them by an appropriate choice of coordinates. Topic: <inaudible> Ergosphere and the Penrose process. A black hole in general is surrounded by a surface called the event horizon and situated at the Schwarzschild radius for a non-rotating black hole, where the escape velocity is equal to the velocity of light. Within this surface, no observer particle can maintain itself at a constant radius. It is forced to fall inwards, and so this is sometimes called the static limit. A rotating black hole has the same static limit at its event horizon, but there is an additional surface outside the event horizon named the ergosurface, given by r minus m two equals m two minus j 2 cuz 2 theta display style rm caret 2 equals m caret 2 j caret 2 cuz caret 2 theta 
in Boyer Lindquist coordinates, which can be intuitively characterized as the sphere where the rotational velocity of the surrounding space is dragged along with the velocity of light. Within this sphere the dragging is greater than the speed of light, and any observer – particle is forced to co-rotate. The region outside the event horizon but inside the surface where the rotational velocity is the speed of light, is called the ergosphere from Greek ergon meaning work. Particles falling within the ergosphere are forced to rotate faster and thereby gain energy. Because they are still outside the event horizon, they may escape the black hole. The net process is that the rotating black hole emits energetic particles at the cost of its own total energy. The possibility of extracting spin energy from a rotating black hole was first proposed by the mathematician Roger Penrose in 1969 and is thus called the Penrose process. Rotating black holes in astrophysics are a potential source of large amounts of energy and are used to explain energetic phenomena, such as gamma-ray bursts. Topic. Features of the Kerr geometry The Kerr geometry exhibits many noteworthy features. The maximal analytic extension includes a sequence of asymptotically flat exterior regions, each associated with an ergosphere, stationary limit surfaces, event horizons, Cauchy horizons, closed timelike curves, and a ring shaped curvature singularity. The geodesic equation can be solved exactly in closed form. In addition to two killing vector fields corresponding to time translation and axisymmetry, the Kerr geometry admits a remarkable killing tensor. There is a pair of principal null congruences one ingoing and one outgoing. The whale tensor is algebraically special, in fact it has Petrov type D. The global structure is known. Topologically, the homotopy type of the Kerr spacetime can be simply characterized as a line with circles attached at each integer point. Note that the inner Kerr geometry is unstable with regard to perturbations in the interior region. This instability means that although the Kerr metric is axis symmetric, a black hole created through gravitational collapse may not be so. This instability also implies that many of the features of the Kerr geometry described above may not be present inside such a black hole. A surface on which light can orbit a black hole is called a photon sphere. The Kerr solution has infinitely many photon spheres, lying between an inner one and an outer one. In the nonrotating, Schwarzschild solution, with a equals zero, the inner and outer photon spheres degenerate, so that there is only one photon sphere at a single radius. The greater the spin of a black hole, the farther from each other the inner and outer photon spheres move. A beam of light traveling in a direction opposite to the spin of the black hole will circularly orbit the hole at the outer photon sphere. A beam of light traveling in the same direction as the black hole spin will circularly orbit at the inner photon sphere. Orbiting geodesics with some angular momentum perpendicular to the axis of rotation of the black hole will orbit on photon spheres between these two extremes. Because the spacetime is rotating, such orbits exhibit a precession, since there is a shift in the phi variable after completing one period in the theta Display style theta variable. Topic: Trajectory equations. The equations of motion for test particles in the Kerr spacetime are governed by four constants of motion. The first is the invariant mass mu display style mu of the test particle, defined by the relation minus mu two equals p alpha g alpha beta p beta display style mu caret 2 equals p caret alpha g underscore alpha beta p caret beta where p alpha display style p caret alpha is the four momentum of the particle Furthermore, there are two constants of motion given by the time translation and rotation symmetries of Kerr spacetime: the energy e, display style e, and the component of the orbital angular momentum parallel to spin of the black hole l z, display style l underscore z e equals minus p t. Display style e equals p underscore t and 
l z equals minus p phi display style l underscore z equals p underscore phi using hamilton jacobi theory brandon carter showed that there exists a fourth constant of motion q display style q now referred to as the carter constant it is related to the total angular momentum of the particle and is given by q equals p theta 2 plus cos 2 theta a 2 mu 2 minus e 2 plus l z sin theta 2 Display style q equals p underscore theta caret two plus cos caret two theta big a caret two mu caret two e caret two plus left frac l underscore z sin theta right caret two big. Since there are four independent constants of motion for degrees of freedom, the equations of motion for a test particle in Kerr spacetime are integrable. Using these constants of motion, the trajectory equations for a test particle can be written using natural units of g equals m equals c equals 1 sigma d r d lambda equals plus or minus r r display style sigma frac dr d lambda equals pm sqrt r r Sigma d theta d lambda equals plus or minus theta theta display style sigma frac d theta d lambda equals pm sqrt theta theta sigma d phi d lambda equals minus a E minus L Z sin two theta plus a delta P R Display style sigma frac d phi d lambda equals left a frac l underscore z sin caret two theta right plus frac a delta p r sigma d t d lambda equals minus a a e sin two theta minus l z plus r 2 plus a 2 delta p r Display style sigma frac dt d lambda equals a a sin caret two theta l underscore z plus frac r caret two plus a caret two delta p r theta theta equals q minus cos 2 theta a 2 mu 2 minus e 2 plus l z 2 sin 2 theta Display style theta theta equals q cos caret two theta left a caret two mu caret two e caret two plus frac l underscore z caret two sin caret two theta right p r equals e r two plus a two minus a l z Display style p r equals e r caret two plus a caret two l underscore z r r equals p r two minus delta r 
2 plus l z minus a e 2 plus q Display style r r equals p r caret two delta left r caret two plus l underscore z a caret two plus q right, where lambda display style lambda is an affine parameter such that d x alpha d lambda equals p alpha Display style frac dx caret alpha d lambda equals p caret alpha. In particular, when mu greater than zero, display style mu greater than zero, the affine parameter lambda display style lambda is related to the proper time tau display style tau through lambda equals tau mu display style lambda equals tau mu because of the frame dragging effect a zero angular momentum observer zamo is correlating with the angular velocity omega display style omega which is defined with respect to the bookkeeper's coordinate time t display style t the local velocity v Display style v of the test particle is measured relative to a probe correlating with omega. Display style omega. The gravitational time dilation between a zamo at fixed r. Display style r and a stationary observer far away from the mass is t tau equals a two plus r 2 2 minus a 2 delta sin 2 theta delta sigma display style frac t tau equals sqrt frac a caret 2 plus r caret 2 caret 2 a caret 2 delta sin caret 2 theta delta sigma Topic. Symmetries The group of isometries of the Kerr metric is the subgroup of the ten-dimensional Poincaré group which takes the two-dimensional locus of the singularity to itself. It retains the time translations one dimension and rotations around its axis of rotation one dimension. Thus it has two dimensions. Like the Poincaré group, it has four connected components, the component of the identity, the component which reverses time and longitude, the component which reflects through the equatorial plane, and the component that does both. In physics, symmetries are typically associated with conserved constants of motion, in accordance with Noether's theorem. As shown above, the geodesic equations have four conserved quantities, one of which comes from the definition of a geodesic, and two of which arise from the time translation and rotation symmetry of the Kerr geometry. The fourth conserved quantity does not arise from a symmetry in the standard sense and is commonly referred to as a hidden symmetry. Topic overextreme Kerr solutions The location of the event horizon is determined by the larger root of delta equals zero display style delta equals zero. When R S two a display style R underscore S two I E G M two J C display style G M caret two, there are no real valued solutions to this equation, and there is no event horizon. With no event horizons to hide it from the rest of the universe, the black hole ceases to be a black hole and will instead be a naked singularity. Topic Kerr black holes as wormholes Although the Kerr solution appears to be singular at the roots of delta equals zero, these are actually coordinate singularities, and, with an appropriate choice of new coordinates, the Kerr solution can be smoothly extended through the values of r, style r corresponding to these roots. The larger of these roots determines the location of the event horizon, and the smaller determines the location of a Cauchy horizon. A future-directed, time-like curve can start in the exterior and pass through the event horizon. Once having passed through the event horizon, the r, r coordinate now behaves like a time coordinate, so it must decrease until the curve passes through the Cauchy horizon. The region beyond the Cauchy horizon has several surprising features. 
The R display style R coordinate again behaves like a spatial coordinate and can vary freely. The interior region has a reflection symmetry, so that a future directed time like curve may continue along a symmetric path, which continues through a second Cauchy horizon, through a second event horizon, and out into a new exterior region which is isometric to the original exterior region of the Kerr solution. The curve could then escape to infinity in the new region or enter the future event horizon of the new exterior region and repeat the process. This second exterior is sometimes thought of as another universe. On the other hand, in the Kerr solution, the singularity is a ring, and the curve may pass through the center of this ring. The region beyond permits closed time like curves. Since the trajectory of observers and particles in general relativity are described by time like curves, it is possible for observers in this region to return to their past. This interior solution is not likely to be physical and considered as a purely mathematical artifact, while it is expected that the exterior region of the Kerr solution is stable, and that all rotating black holes will eventually approach a Kerr metric, the interior region of the solution appears to be unstable, much like a pencil balanced on its point. This is related to the idea of cosmic censorship. Topic. Relation to other exact solutions The Kerr geometry is a particular example of a stationary axially symmetric vacuum solution to the Einstein field equation. The family of all stationary axially symmetric vacuum solutions to the Einstein field equation are the Ernst vacuums. The Kerr solution is also related to various non-vacuum solutions which model black holes. For example, the Kerr-Newman electrovacuum models a rotating black hole endowed with an electric charge, while the Kerr-Vadia null dust models a rotating hole with infalling electromagnetic radiation. The special case a equals zero display style a equals zero of the Kerr metric yields the Schwarzschild metric, which models a non-rotating black hole which is static and spherically symmetric, in the Schwarzschild coordinates, in this case, every Jerich moment but the mass vanishes. The interior of the Kerr geometry, or rather a portion of it, is locally isometric to the chandrasekhar ferrari CPW vacuum, an example of a colliding plane wave model. This is particularly interesting, because the global structure of this CPW solution is quite different from that of the Kerr geometry, and in principle, an experimenter could hope to study the geometry of the outer portion of the Kerr interior by arranging the collision of two suitable gravitational plane waves. <laughs> Multipole moments Each asymptotically flat Ernst vacuum can be characterized by giving the infinite sequence of relativistic multipole moments, the first two of which can be interpreted as the mass and angular momentum of the source of the field. There are alternative formulations of relativistic multipole moments due to Hansen, Thorne, and Jerich, which turn out to agree with each other. The relativistic multipole moments of the Kerr geometry were computed by Hansen, they turn out to be m n equals M I A N display style M underscore N equals M I A caret N. Thus, the special case of the Schwarzschild vacuum equals zero gives the monopole point source of general relativity. Warning: Do not confuse these relativistic multipole moments with the Weyl multipole moments, which arise from treating a certain metric function, formally corresponding to Newtonian gravitational potential, which appears the Weyl Papapetrou chart for the Ernst family of all stationary axisymmetric vacuum solutions using the standard Euclidean scalar multipole moments. In a sense, the Weyl moments only indirectly characterize the mass distribution of an isolated source, and they turn out to depend only on the even-order relativistic moments. In the case of solutions symmetric across the equatorial plane the odd-order whale moments vanish. For the Kerr vacuum solutions, the first few whale moments are given by a 0 equals m a 1 equals 0 a 2 equals M M two three minus a two 
Display style a underscore zero equals m a underscore one equals zero a underscore two equals m left frac m caret two three a caret two right. In particular, we see that the Schwarzschild vacuum has non-zero second-order Weyl moment, corresponding to the fact that the Weyl monopole is the chazy curzon vacuum solution, not the Schwarzschild vacuum solution, which arises from the Newtonian potential of a certain finite-length uniform density thin rod. In weak field general relativity, it is convenient to treat isolated sources using another type of multipole, which generalize the whale moments to mass multipole moments and momentum multipole moments, characterizing respectively the distribution of mass and of momentum of the source. These are multi-indexed quantities whose suitably symmetrized, anti -symmetrized parts can be related to the real and imaginary parts of the relativistic moments for the full nonlinear theory in a rather complicated manner. Perez and Moreski have given an alternative notion of monopole solutions by expanding the standard NP tetrad of the Ernst vacuums in powers of R, the radial coordinate in the Weyl Papapetru chart. According to this formulation, the isolated mass monopole source with zero angular momentum is the Schwarzschild vacuum family, one parameter. The isolated mass monopole source with radial angular momentum is the Taub nut vacuum family, two parameters, not quite asymptotically flat. The isolated mass monopole source with axial angular momentum is the Kerr vacuum family, two parameters. In this sense, the Kerr vacuums are the simplest stationary axisymmetric asymptotically flat vacuum solutions in general relativity. Topic: <laughs> Open problems. The Kerr geometry is often used as a model of a rotating black hole. But if we hold the solution to be valid only outside some compact region subject to certain restrictions, in principle we should be able to use it as an exterior solution to model the gravitational field around a rotating massive object other than a black hole, such as a neutron star, or the Earth. This works out very nicely for the non-rotating case, where we can match the Schwarzschild vacuum exterior to a Schwarzschild fluid interior, and indeed to more general static spherically symmetric perfect fluid solutions. However, the problem of finding a rotating perfect fluid interior which can be matched to a Kerr exterior, or indeed to any asymptotically flat vacuum exterior solution, has proven very difficult. In particular, the Walquist fluid, which was once thought to be a candidate for matching to a Kerr exterior, is now known not to admit any such matching. At present it seems that only approximate solutions modeling slowly rotating fluid balls are known. Slowly rotating fluid balls are the relativistic analog of oblate spheroidal balls with non-zero mass and angular momentum but vanishing higher multiple moments. However, the exterior of the nugebauer minel disk, an exact dust solution which models a rotating thin disk, approaches in a limiting case the g m 2 equals c J display style gm caret 2 equals cj Kerr geometry physical thin disk solutions obtained by identifying parts of the Kerr spacetime are also known Topic see also Schwarzschild metric Kerr Newman metric Reissner Nordstrom metric spin flip Kerr shield spacetime rotating black hole topic references topic notes topic further reading Wiltshire David L Visser Matt and Scott Susan M EDS 2009 the Kerr spacetime, rotating black holes in general relativity. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press. ISBN 978-0-521-88512-6, CS1 maint, multiple names, authors list, link, CS1 maint, extra text, authors list, link, Stephanie, Hans, Kramer, Dietrich, McCallum, Malcolm, Honsolaires, Cornelius, Hurlt, Eduard, 2003. Exact solutions of Einstein's field equations. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press. ISBN 0-521-46136-7. Meinl, Reinhard, Ansorg, Marcus, Kleinwachter, Andreas, Neugebauer, Gernot, Petroff, David 2008. Relativistic Figures of Equilibrium. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press. ISBN 978-0-521-86383-4. The Geometry of Kerr Black Holes. Wellesley, Massachusetts, A. K. Peters. ISBN 1-56881-019-9. Dinverneau, Ray Introducing Einstein's Relativity. 
Oxford, Clarendon Press. ISBN 0-19-859686-3. See Chapter 19 for a readable introduction at the advanced undergraduate level. Chandra Sekar, S. 1992. The Mathematical Theory of Black Holes. Oxford, Clarendon Press. ISBN 0-19-850370-9. See Chapters 6-10 for a very thorough study at the advanced graduate level. Griffiths, J. B. Colliding Plane Waves in General Relativity. Oxford, Oxford University Press. ISBN 0-19-853209-1. See Chapter 13 for the Chandrasekhar, Ferrari CPW model. Adler, Ronald, Bazin, Maurice, Schiffer, Menahem Introduction to General Relativity 2nd ed. New York, McGraw-Hill. ISBN 0-07-000423-4. See Chapter 7. Penrose, R. Ed C. DeWitt and J. Wheeler, ed. Battelle Rencontres. W. A. Benjamin, New York. p. 222. Perez, Alejandro, Moreski, Osvaldo M. 2000. Characterizing Exact Solutions from Asymptotic Physical Concepts. Archive, GRQC, 0012100 v1. Characterization of three standard families of vacuum solutions as noted above. Sotaru, Thomas P., Apostolatos, Theocharis A. 2004. Corrections and Comments on the Multipole Moments of Axisymmetric Electrovacuum Spacetimes. Class. Quantum Grav. 21 24, 5727, 5733, Archive, GRQC, 040764. Bibcode, 2004 CQGRA, 21, 5727S. doi, 10.1088, 264 9381, 2124, 003. Archive ePrint gives the relativistic multipole moments for the Ernst vacuums plus the electromagnetic and gravitational relativistic multipole moments for the charge generalization. Carter, B. 1971. Axisymmetric black hole has only two degrees of freedom. Physical Review Letters, 26 6, 331-333. Bibcode, 1971PHRVL, 336-331C. doi, 10.1103, Fizrevlet.26.331. Wald, R. M. 1984. General Relativity. Chicago, The University of Chicago Press. pp. 312 and n-324. ISBN 0-226-87032-4. Kerr, R. P., Schild, A. 2009. Republication of, A New Class of Vacuum Solutions of the Einstein Field Equations. General Relativity and Gravitation. 41 10 2485 2499 Bibcode, 2009 Gregor, 41 248-5K. doi, 10.1007 per seconds 10714-0090857Z. Krasinski, André, Vertigur, Enrique, Kerr, Roy Patrick 2009. Editorial note to, R. P. Kerr and A. Schild, A New Class of Vacuum Solutions of the Einstein Field Equations. General Relativity and Gravitation. 41 10, 2469-2484. Bibcode, 2009 Gregor, 2469 k doi, 10.1007 per seconds 10714-009-0856-0. This note is meant to be a guide for those readers who wish to verify all the details of the derivation of the Kerr solution. <laughs>